The abstract of a submission serves as a description of its contents. Think of it as an opportunity to give context to the data in the submission. The abstract should give enough context so that the data can stand alone. The general public should be able to get a good idea of the data's purpose and nuances from the abstract. Try to consider some of these questions when writing the abstract. What can be found in the data? How can the data be described in layman's terms? When? Where? Why? And how was the data captured or collected? Are the units clearly and unambiguously labeled? Are there any assumptions, proprietary software requirements, or other prerequisites required to use the data? If the answer to these questions vary between data resources, they should be included in the resource descriptions instead of the submission abstract. Resource descriptions are described in another video in this series. Here is an example of a good abstract. Even without seeing the data, one can get a general understanding why and how the data were collected, what the data were used for, and how to view the data. For more examples of a good abstract, feel free to look at other publicly accessible submissions within the data repository.